乱射事件が後を絶たないアメリカ昨年10月にラスベガスで58人の死亡者を出したばかりだが再び悲劇が起きた舞台はフロリダ州南部の高校生徒と教師合わせて17人が犠牲になった大規模な銃乱射事件が起きるたびに銃規制運動が盛り上がるがしばらくすると立ち消えになり元の状態に戻るトランプ政権や共和党議員と全米ライフル協会 NRA との関係も影響しているがアメリカで銃がなくならないのはそれだけが理由ではない事件のあったラスベガスで銃保有者3人に話を聞いた。This is the first gun that I got when I was nine or ten years old. It is a single shot hunting rifle. A 410 is the gauge. It's a very light gauge.、Um, and it was a Christmas present from my parents. And I've had it all of my life, used it extensively when I was a kid. I have many wonderful memories of hunting rabbits and doves. This is the gun I carried in the real estate business. It is empty. Okay?、Um, it's a .45. This is a standard United States Army side piece. I feel very bad about it.、Um, I wish it didn't happen.、Um, I also read about the same type of events where guns are not involved people driving a car into a crowd,、uh, attacking with a knife, setting off a bomb. So, it's not always a gun. Our Constitution guarantees the right to keep guns. This country was founded by people that were fleeing oppressive governments. Well, this was the one my dad gave me 20 years ago, 25 years ago.、Uh, this one I bought、uh, probably two or three years ago. Uh, specifically for, like I said, the home protection. I think that's best because you don't have to be a very good shot with this. It spreads out. Just aim it in the direction and you'll probably hit them. This、uh, we got about four years ago. And this has a、uh, laser sight, too. See it? So that helps you aim. This one was only a couple hundred dollars, I think. And this one, I believe, was about $400. So they're not expensive.、Uh, mostly I'm retired, but I'm driving Uber and Lyft. Before I've been in the Army, I was a commodity broker. I have a concealed carry license, so I can carry it with me anywhere in Nevada and other states.、Uh, and it's just in case something should happen. Bad while I'm out somewhere. And I know there's a lot of people here in Las Vegas, in Nevada, that have concealed carry. And I'm wondering in my head, why aren't people shooting back at that window? Because that's what I would have been doing. If I could identify where that shooting was coming from, I would have been shooting back. The intent of the Second Amendment was to keep people armed. Specifically for the purpose of resisting the federal government. It's not about the right to hunt, but for the purpose of self protection and a, a protection against a tyrannical government. I think those are very legitimate reasons. America no Jew Han Bai Tenwa, Shagiki Jo Hazes Sru Bai Gaoi, Kakua, Jew Ya Judan O Tamestika Kornu Sru Kotoga Dekir, Hazes No Hirmadaga. 射撃場には多くの人が出入りしていた I work for myself as a freelance photographer I always carry it because when I go out on a job as a photographer my case which is about this big has between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars worth of digital equipment in it which costs more than this car if this country ever goes to outlaw guns I'm going to leave the country because I won't be without a gun while a criminal has a gun. Outlawing guns won't get rid of guns, it'll just get rid of my gun. And our stupid government doesn't seem to know that. 
銃を所持するだけでなく人に見えるように携帯するいわゆるオープンキャリーが銃犯罪を防ぐという主張もあるオープンキャリーは本当にそのタイプのキャリーを私たちの人間は持っているので、私たちの人間は持っているので、私たちの人間は持っているので、私たちの人間は持っているので、私たちの人間は持っているので、私たちの人間は持っているので、私たちの人間は持っているので、私たちの人間は持っているので、私たちの人間は持っているので、私たちの人間は持っているので、私たちの人間は持っているので、私たちの人間は持っているので、私たちの人間は持っているので、私たちの人間は持っているので、私たちの人間は持っているので、私たちの人間は持っているので、That you know that there's a good chance that you might get shot. So it serves as a good visual deterrent to bad guys. 銃規制を唱える人々は、購入時の身元確認、いわゆるバックグラウンドチェックを強化すべきだと主張している。ただ、現状のバックグラウンドチェックが適用されるのは、連邦が認可した販売店だけ、40% と言われる個人間の売買には適用されていない。銃の購入や譲渡のすべてにバックグラウンドチェックを拡大することで、犯罪者やドラッグ中毒、精神疾患の人々の銃の所有を防げると主張しているだがバックグラウンドチェック自体に問題があるという指摘もある The current background check system is a mess and, and you may have heard many times particularly during the election in 2016 that there's 3 million Uh, dangerous or prohibited people that have been stopped from buying guns because of background checks. That's simply false. What they should say is that there have been three million initial denials and that almost all of those are mistakes. There were 73,000 denials. There were 42 cases referred for prosecution and they had 13 convictions. 13 convictions out of 73,000 denials. You say, How can that be? Do they just not want to enforce the law when these people who are prohibited try to buy a gun? No. It's one thing to stop somebody who's a felon from buying a gun. It's another thing to stop somebody simply because they have a similar name to a felon from buying a gun. And the way the NICS system works is they look for phonetically similar names. So, You know, Smith is a very common name in the United States, but you could have Smith with an I or Smith with a Y and an E. Phonetically, they're the same, right? And as far as the government's concerned, that's the same name. And it's something that could be fixed easily, but they won't fix it. ロッド氏は経済学者として、スタンフォード大学やイェール大学など複数の大学で教鞭を取ってきた。もともとは銃規制推進派だったが、銃犯罪について詳しく調べる中で、銃を持つことが犯罪を抑制すると考えるようになったという。Over 98% of the mass public shootings in the United States since 1950 have taken place in areas where general citizens were banned from having guns. You know, these so called gun free zones. You know, we have areas like schools or other places where guns have been banned. They're not allowed. And we've set those rules up to try to make people safe. But the problem is,、uh, these people who do these attacks, they may be crazy in some sense, but they're not stupid. They try to pick places where they know their victims can't defend themselves. You know, the Batman movie theater shooter, his original target was going to be Denver International Airport. But he checked and he found about all the armed security there, and he was worried that he'd be stopped before he could kill people. I think the best way of doing it is to get rid of the gun free zones. Police know that they virtually always arrive on the crime scene after the crimes occurred. And the question becomes what should people do when they're having to confront a criminal by themselves? You know, you say eight minute response time would be great, but that's assuming you can even make the phone call. What you find is that by far the safest course of action is to have a gun. アメリカにはすでに3億兆を超える銃が出回っておりすべてを回収することは難しい国土が広いアメリカではすぐに警察が駆けつけるわけではなく自己防衛のために銃が必要という主張も理解できるまた銃は憲法で保障された権利でありアメリカの文化と歴史の象徴でもある This is my newest one, the 2A Armament、um, AR 15. This is the current one that we're building for competition in the 2018 season. 
and it weighs five pounds, so it's very, very light. I was really excited when I got this. This is the same um, nine millimeter that John Wick uses in John Wick 2. South Carolina 州に住むシャイアン・ロバーツ。彼女は13歳ながら射撃大会の成人の部で優勝するほどの腕前だ。雑誌の表紙を飾ったこともあり、サイン会を開けば長蛇の列ができる。I knew that one of the biggest issues that happens with, with accidents with children is because they don't know anything about firearms. And I knew that I had firearms in the house, and I knew that I wanted them to know and understand <coughs> that they can be very dangerous. They have to be respected. You have to be very careful with them. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that was my biggest goal. I never expected that Cheyenne was going to get to where she is in this as a sport. He showed me a shooting video of Tori Nanaka, which is my, one of my idols. And she was doing a competition, and he's like, Well, do you want to do this? And I said, Yes. I was nine, and I won the New Jersey. You didn't, and the, well, you got second place. Well, you didn't win. Well, yeah, second place in the New Jersey State Room Fire Challenge. And that, would be, that was the first match that I ever went to. That was the adult division. She got second in the women's division. <laughs> <laughs> so, in. Four years, she's won two women's titles in two different states. Shayan no kill uniform には重販売店の名前が並ぶ。競技を続けたい選手とクリーンなイメージを演出したい重販売店は切っても切れない関係だ。I'm a single parent. I mean, this is you're 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 probably looking at about ten thousand dollars worth of firearms right here. I mean, it's easily over a thousand dollars a month in ammunition just to practice. That's not for the competitions either. <clears throat> Then there's the expenses of a hotel. To go to a match, the match fees, the gas to drive there, the food. It, it's a very expensive sport. So I wouldn't be able to give her these opportunities if it wasn't for the sponsors. I would like, in the future, I'd like to be in the military or a police officer because the military is a big thing in our family. There was a whole bunch of people that I didn't necessarily know but are in the family, and I want to do the right thing for the country. If I go into the military,、um, there is a possibility that I would have to kill somebody face to face, but I haven't fully thought about that and it's not fully certain yet. And I still have a few more years to go, so I still have a few more years to think about that. And if I. Maybe a better way to think about it is you know, if you were home from school、yeah. and somebody broke in. Yes. Would you. Would you Would you stop them? If yes, you had I, to? I would absolutely stop them if I had to because my brother and my dog and my father are all in jeopardy of being hurt. And I'm in jeopardy of being hurt, and I don't want that to ever happen. So if that came to the time, yes, I, I, would, I would do that, absolutely. Jurans are going to kill the people who are killed. The people who are killed are going to kill the people who are killed. The people who are killed are going to kill the people who are killed. The people who are killed. There was a story of a young boy who was 10 years old、uh, whose mother was a drug addict and had left the area, and his grandmother was taking care of him. The gang leader had come over, stabbed the grandmother in the stomach, had a knife to her throat, and was going to kill her unless she told him where she kept her money and the, and the jewelry. Well, the young boy whose father had died a year earlier from cancer, before the father had died, he had taken the boy shooting and trained him how to shoot a gun. Well, he went up, got the grandmother's gun, came down, and fatally shot the gang leader that was there. She said that she's only alive today because the grandson was able to fire the gun.、It、seemed like a great story, you know, a heroic young kid doing that. It got 250 words in the back of a newspaper. But it still creates somewhat of a misimpression about people in their minds about crime generally. They have an agenda. They're almost all leaning to the left. They have an agenda that they want to be able to control the narrative. They want to be able to control. They, they just, ideologically, they just don't like guns. They don't like guns for other people. There are, there are some high profile media personalities that have, and Hollywood stars, that have armed bodyguards. Michael Bloomberg. 
ex-mayor of New York, very, very heavily involved in, in gun control organizations, has six ex-NYPD police officers as permanent 24-7 security. He's a billionaire. He can afford that. Is his life more valuable than mine? No. So why is it okay for him to have armed security, but I'm not allowed to have to be armed for my own security? There is a huge amount of hypocrisy from anti-gun groups. Tomorrow, we will continue it, and we will never stop until we get it.